Welcome to Game Soup Plays Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, Episode 9. We're giving away two copies of Hive Jump today. Hive so, Jump, two copies. Were we going to do that at the end of the beginning? Because I kind of screwed it. Okay, you can just do it now. Yeah, well, okay. Well, it's too late. Look in the description below, and you can see how to enter there. Hive Jump, man. Good one of the luck. greatest titles. Ed, you're lying. You don't know anything about I, it, and neither do I. I can't even tell you what genre I, it is. I it's a surprise. I don't remember what it is, but we've got two keys for it. So if you want to enter, go ahead and Sounds enter that giveaway in yeah. the description below. Sounds like a, like a 4X game or a, or a... I don't even know. Yeah, maybe. Probably more twin-stick shooter. Most games are twin-stick shooters. Yeah? Yeah, the new Darksiders game by Airship yeah. Syndicate. That's going to be... Uh, I'm actually looking forward more to that than the fourth Darksiders game. Yeah, it looks, series looks really good. We, we played Battle Chasers on the channel a while ago, and it's, it's the exact same art. I guess, like, probably the exact same artists, but same well, yeah, art style and everything. Yeah, it's, it's Joe Mad. Yeah. Right? And it looks really cool. It's, yeah, it's like a, like, Diablo perspective, but with, uh, I don't know, like, how would you describe it? Yeah, like, twin stick shooter with abilities and cooldowns and stuff. Yeah. It, I mean, it could wind up being kind of generic. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I, I'm gonna play. We're, I mean, we're probably gonna play on the channel, too, yeah. regardless. Maybe not as an LP, but... We're definitely going to at least wild game it. And I'm for sure going to be playing through it. I mean, I like I like the genre. Even even if it's a mediocre game. Like it's Shovel, Shovel Knight. Knight. It is actually Shovel Knight. This game has some great references. Yeah, even even if it's a mediocre game. Even if that Darksiders game is a mediocre game. I'm still going to play it because I like the art. Because Joe Mad. Yeah. Another Shovel Knight. These guys drop an armor, I think. Wish I could move while I was, tra while I was charging. Yeah. No, this is pretty strong. Yeah, it's pretty good. If you charge it. Let's see what we get here. We Mahogany. got a bunch of crafting junk. So we are in the underground waterway. And in the last, what, the week since we recorded? Or a week and a half? Oh, I'm almost dead. <laughs> oh, you are? From these shovel knights. Yeah, they're pretty strong. Use a high potion. We'll use two of them. Oh, and yeah. then I'm going to change my equipment because... While it's powerful, it's mm. quite slow. Cumbersome. We could use the Culverin. Yeah, some, but it's a gun. Our good rounds. Guns are weak AF. It lowers the defensive capabilities. We should definitely be using I guess. the gun a lot more. I well, guess. I'm Joe. <laughs> it's not even that it's great. Lower his con. Ugh. Get your con lowered. Get conned on. Ow. Yeah, it just sucks. It just sucks. There are some good weapons in the game. Oh yeah, I should reveal this, that I, I played the game on a second save file. Oh yeah, got... you did you beat it? No, no, I got to the last boss. Oh, okay. Uh, and I purposely didn't beat it, so I've just been like running around and grinding, and there's a lot of stuff to find in this game. All kinds of secret areas and secret bosses. There are some crazy things. I told you about one of them. There was a, a stretch goal for an 8-bit world. And I found it, and it wrecked me. It's quite difficult. Maybe we'll get there. Yeah, I'd like to see some difficult content in this game. Yeah, uh, I think we want to go like to the right. Uh, like I was going to go to the left. We'll check the map, because we came from the left, right? We got a center. So back where oh, the yeah, we do. Place, we do want to go to the right. Yeah. yeah, you're right. So That looks right. I think that's where we left off last time. It's actually been a week and a half uh -huh. since we should, we... should we reveal that? Too late. We already did, Too late. Joe. Um, yeah, it's been a week and a half since we played it. Um, Ed had some business to attend to that he would really like to talk about. I was on vacation. Yeah. I mean... I didn't know if you wanted to say anything. I was about to say what you were, but I, I don't know. I mean, it's your business. I'll it was, let you tell it if you want to tell it. It was great. We went to Minis uh, Minneapolis St. Paul uh, with my sister and her daughter. And uh, what did we do? I don't know. It was like a family reu reu reunion reunion type thing. So we just hung out and uh, we're a big Italian family. So that meant lots of big Italian food. And... and and actually what? yeah go, go on what is and <laughs> what is and i don't know it, it was fine it was vacation uh it was planned for like i don't know a year so i couldn't just not do it and it was a lot of fun i'm glad i did i think this gun isn't powerful <clears throat> enough for the amount of uh bullets i'm using oh you think it, it really doesn't it, i think this i think, I think this the gun is just kind of trash yeah. yeah attack of 20 yeah i think it's an early early I thought, gun i thought because it's because it's using a resource that it would be a lot stronger but it nah. doesn't really feel strong enough to warrant using i just wanted to use something different than what we were doing before i mean we could just use rava burial i like this uh the, th oh, the throwing weapon. is this cool. the throwing one mm -hmm. this is the throwing one yeah i did like we that used one that a lot Alright, you know, I guess we'll clip it again. I Give like it. Shot. 
It's a little weak though now. Oh, it's not that weak. It's okay. 31 damage. Pretty you can good. also equip like the uh, the augment to increase your sword attack or whatever. You know, like sword stats. Um, I guess... Oh, can we get... Yeah, we can go over there. Yeah, yeah, so I'm really glad that I played the game past where we were. Because there are... Th well, there's three infamous, infamous choke points in this game. What capacity one up? Uh, gun capacity. Ammo okay. capacity. Cool. Uh, where you are going to get stuck, pretty much guaranteed, unless you are either extremely, extremely lucky or you use a guide or something. That's what I had to do. Wait, we gotta use the the laser? Can we use the laser to get through here? Is that uh, what it was? I want, yeah, I think so. <laughs> Directional. Is it this one? Yeah. Reflector ray? Yeah. It's been a while. Yeah, this is it. And we will we will get into a, a game design talk when we come to those choke points. The first one, we already encountered it, was the... The section where the, we didn't know how to get on the train because we had the we had the silver bromide where we made our uh, picture, and you had to go talk to OD to get the identification to get on the train. Yeah, but uh, supposedly we just lucked out. We yeah. lucked, we just lucked out yeah. and stumbled onto that one. There are two more things exactly like that, and it's it starts to it starts to feel really like why why is it this yeah, way? That's that's one thing I don't miss about old games. Yeah. Like the PlayStation N sixty four PS two era that whole time period in games there was a lot of getting lost and stuck in games yeah it just because well we would call it poor design now but games were just like that back yeah. then you would just get lost and you would have to buy the strategy guide if you wanted to figure out where to, or you just wander around until you found the stupid solution and it was usually a stupid solution <laughs> and i totally get if you want to do that and make things uh rewarding to find or you know require you to explore that's fine but there are still better ways to do it than what has been done here huh <laughs> that's funny you're wearing armor. Wait, it's a... Is it a summon? Oh yeah, it is. You got Shovel Knight. Hmm. Well, we're definitely going to switch to that. Wait, it's it's not a summon. Oh, it's not? No, it's not. I think it's... What maybe it's it? a red one. Oh, it's, oh, it's summon called Summon Shovel armor. armor. Oh, darn it. You got to use it, though. Oh, we're going to use it. Yeah, let's see what he does. <laughs> Fair enough. Sure. And uh, just so it's not, I know it's not me because I went on the Steam page for the game and there were a lot. Whoa, how did, what? How did you do? Uh, Is that random? I just pressed Y. <laughs> I did the same wow. thing I did before, but he did That's cool. a bit more. And there were lots of, well, some of them were complaints. Others were trying to be more uh, more uh, academic about it, I suppose, or, or, or uh, you know, helpful, constructive. Yeah. And they, and they said a lot of the same, same things that I said. And as far as I know, there are like there aren't really any any clues. There may be some situations where where Dominique would give you like a blurb about them, about where you're, where you're actually supposed to go. But as far as I know, mm, we'll get to them. So anyway, I'm just I'm happy that I did that because we're gonna save a lot of time not having to wander around. So we're using Ed's controller today. Oh yeah, we could talk about that. Joe left his controller at home. Yeah, I usually bring my controller over because, well, it's better than Ed's. Well, it's an official Xbone controller, right? And Ed has a uh, Amazon a Basics. One. Yeah, bootleg. basically a bootleg. Yeah. And the reason I well, okay, the reason I did it was it's, it's like really clanky. It's okay. I yeah, can't it's, believe you use this thing, yeah. Ed. I don't mind it actually. It has lasted longer than my official Xbone controller. That's that I've had yeah. Two that's of them. it. Does seem to be built to last yeah. more than those Xbone controllers? But the Xbone controllers are just so much more comfortable and responsive. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. This one, uh, it has clicky buttons initially yeah. for about a month, and then you get mushy buttons. Yeah, so the, it's, it's 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 a little mushy. Yeah. And the D-pad, I found myself sliding a couple times when I didn't want to. Mm. Just it's probably not centered like the D-pad on a standard controller, so I'm just not used to it. Although to be fair, Microsoft have, has never been the top of the game in D-pad designs, so it's not something that I really noticed all that much. I like the X. I like the X-bone. D-pad quite a lot. Yeah, but it took them three three generations to get it, it right. Yeah. It's okay. I don't love it. Yeah, the 360 was one of the worst. Might be. There we go. Yeah. Oh no, that didn't it didn't do anything because it wasn't close enough. Uh -oh. I don't remember what the original Xbox D-pad was. Oops, I went to I want to go to shards here. Oh yeah. Where's that tentacle one? Ten thrashing tentacle, the first yeah, one we got. One. Do you that's remember what, we want. what the original Xbox uh, D-pad was like? Was it the original Xbox? Yeah, was it like the 360s? Uh, kind of. I, it's I mean, hard to remember. I actually never owned an Xbox. I played it a bunch, uh -huh. and I borrowed it from my friend once for like a couple months. So I got to play a decent amount of Xbox games. But uh, I remember it not being good. <laughs> like yeah. Everything about the original Xbox controller 
was awful, especially the original, yeah. original Xbox controller, not the S, <laughs> the one that's been nicknamed the Duke. The big Famously. boy. Yeah, the yeah. big boy, with all the empty space around it. Like, the middle of the controller is just a big block of plastic. Why is our UI so... Yeah, our, the <laughs> ma why is the map down there? I don't know. Has it been like that this whole episode? I just noticed it because yeah. it's it's annoying me. Yeah, yeah. how did that... Because we didn't pull up the map at all yet, so... That, no, no, you do it in the uh, map menu. Oh, it is? It's in the map yeah, menu? You hit, uh, oh, I must have hit, I must have hit a button to... Hit X. There you go. Uh, oh, there we go. And you can you can also you can set actually, it to You can zoom it in and out. Yeah. I'm gonna zoom it all the way out. It's pretty and then cool. And put it right there. And then return to full map. And then press B to place a marker. <laughs> They're finally patching it out okay. at some point. They just announced details of a new patch. Yeah, Ed told me that, so I just yeah. have to test it out right now. Yeah, and that's one of the, the things they're fixing, because who in their right mind would okay that? Yeah, that, that's a very, very odd design decision. Um, uh, I dare I say a bad one. <laughs> dare you? I mean, it's <laughs> not, not dare really you say. That daring, no. And it's not even like something that I would say, oh, an amateur would do that. Even a... Because an, even, an, even an amateur would not do that. So... I have to wonder what yeah, their reasoning a, was. Even a fantastic game like this, there's going to be some mistakes. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't mean we're better designers than Koji Igarashi. <laughs> no, <laughs> everyone is a, everyone's a critic. You know, it's easy to sit here and just critique things. Tsurumaru Doji Giri. Okay, so just a bunch of katanas. I Probably, guess. Probably, right? yeah. I think we have one of those. Quarter circle forward and X. Okay. I also found out uh, for some of the kicking we for the kicking weapons, the quarter circle forward mm -hmm. attack for those you can actually cancel out of a normal attack into it. So you can do a good amount of damage. I actually played the game for like half an hour. I started the game, so it was with the Kung Fu shoes, and it's one of the first abilities you learn. But yeah, I didn't play it beyond, yeah, the very beginning. Anyway, where is Lethal Boots? Oh, they suck. Is that the best we have? Yeah, I think we sold the other ones. Or maybe we just we never get had some them. boots, and I'll show you, yeah. show I like... you how great they are. But well, we can just... I like the boots a lot. Oops, I removed. We can just demonstrate it. Sure. I think it'll work with these. Does it have the... Maybe you can't do the quarter circle forward. I don't think you can, actually. Oh, no, you can't. Looks like you can't with these. So I guess these don't count as... that category of boots that you're allowed to do that. You're allowed to do those uh, moves with. I still don't know if those techniques are... are broad, like they cover an entire weapon class that you can use them with, or they're specific, because it lists. Yeah, it lists the weapon specifically, so I'm pretty sure it's not a, a specific class of weapon. I, I'm sure they did that for some reason. There's got to be a reason they chose to do it that way. Oh, cool. I'm smashing every wall anyway that I see. Yeah. I'm attacking every wall <laughs> I see anyway, so what is a, is that a passive shard? Yeah, Detective might as well have time. something better than that. Yeah, I guess so. Spear expertise, uh, words of wisdom. Oh. Reduce MP consumption? That sounds good for me. I guess. You're not even using MP all that much. Occasional zero MP cost. Yeah, I guess you're right. Oh, there you go. Yeah, That's cool. This is this is a good weapon. For this point in the game. It went right over his head. That's pretty powerful, too. That technique. The technique. <laughs> Watch this. Ooh! Someone in our comments mentioned that you could do that. Yeah. That you could dive under the water a little bit by doing that. Yeah, you know, there's the obligatory water section in this game. Which, thankfully, it's pretty short. Wait, can we can we get under here yet? Mm-mm. We, we need, like, a swimming ability? Mm-hmm. So there is one. There is one. Okay. And that brings us to choke point number one. Actually. Are we at choke point number one? No, we're getting here? there. Or maybe this would be choke point number two. Yeah, getting well, the train, after that. Getting the, uh, the, the fake ID to get on the train mm -hmm. probably is the first choke point. We'll get into it. Yep. Can we get... No way. No, no way. Okay. I thought I would try. Let's use... That's a pretty good one. Inferno Breath. I've heard that's really... It's good in, like, the end game or, like, if you level up or something, but... Heretical Grinder. Rank my 7. My favorite. OPOP. OP. <laughs> Overkill, man. Uh, <laughs> no thank you. <laughs> De Leave us alone. Now, I'll say the enemy design in this game is pretty tame. Like, even compared to, like, Dawn of Sorrow and some of the other games. A lot of secret walls. Yeah, yeah. There's like so many that it just ma yeah it makes you want to check every single wall. Critical ring, should we equip it? No, I think it sucks. 
No. Oh, here we go. Accessory, critical ring, increased likelihood. Yeah, but by how much? Yeah. <laughs> how can we measure if it's any good? Who knows? All right. That's a common theme in this game. A lot of things say it increases this by, by, by based on what? No, but yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't explain. So data miners. Oh, it just sent me into the previous room by doing that attack. Yeah, I guess data mining is a good way to figure it out. It's like the only way to figure it out. <clears throat> I guess you could brute force it with pen and paper. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But why? Do it a thousand times. Give you a pretty good sample size. Oh yeah, the uh, the Iga's backpack DLC came out. I think it came out this week. I think that's what happened. And we have it. Yeah. So somebody that I uh, talk to occasionally on Twitch actually gifted it to me. I'm like, it's ten dollars, man. Don't do that. Like it was really it was really kind. So I'm not gonna name him, but hey, thank you, man. It was cool. You know what's also funny about that DLC is somebody made a topic on the Steam forums complaining about how, uh, well, what you get is you get an extra boss fight and you get one extra weapon. And somebody complained on the Steam forum that it wasn't so worth have, $10. Sorry, what? We have no way of getting over here right, at all. Okay. Right. Yeah, I shouldn't have come back here. Anyway, yeah, the DLC. Um... So yeah, somebody made a topic complaining about how it was not worth the ten dollars because you only get those two things. And I don't, I don't think it was a dev, but maybe like a community manager, you know, somebody that represents the the company or the game, uh, responded and said, "I agree, it's not worth the ten dollars. Uh, the reason we did that was because we wanted it to to make it fair for the the backers because I think originally it was a backer only thing. And so to make them to placate them, if you will, they up the price a little bit on it, you know." Because yeah. it, it wouldn't feel special if everybody got it for cheaper. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you're going to... I, yeah. Because I think it's going to demote the opposite of promote piracy if they do it that way, right? Because it, people want to experience the full game, right? A lot of people, they want the full experience. And if the only way to do it is piracy, if you didn't kickstart it, they're going to do it. Mm -hmm. They're gonna they're gonna download and you're probably gonna get download the full game. They might even lose sales over it. But if they offer it for ten bucks, which is it's not a small amount of money, but I mean, and it's probably not worth it might not be worth it entirely. But I think it's gonna encourage a lot of people to just buy it rather than try to pirate it. So I think I think it was probably their best move. I don't think there's any perfect move, no perfect way to have handled it, but it seems fair enough and probably better than the way that Final Fantasy 15 how Square handled it. Uh, which was not well. They had, uh, for example, I mean, there's a lot of examples of things that they did wrong with that game as far as DLC goes, but one example is there was a, a GameStop bonus for pre-ordering the game. You got a free game, a free brawler-style game ah. that starred the characters from Final Fantasy 15. And let me look at the map real quick here. Can we go up here. straight up? Yeah, let's see if we can do that. And... Maybe four months later, they released the game for free ah. as a download. But people so, had to pay for it. Yeah, we, we pre-ordered it at GameStop because we were looking around to see what, what was which place had the coolest... Because everybody had a different freebie for pre-ordering mm -hmm. games. So we were mm -hmm. trying to look for who had the, the most generous or cool one. And we are like, oh, you get a whole mm -hmm. free game here. It's, and it's a brawler. It's kind of game that I like. And, uh, yeah, it, I mean, it was... It felt special, right? Voice changer. But then they uh, completely cheapened it by giving it to everyone for free. So the people who pre-ordered it elsewhere and got whatever else you could get, a t-shirt, I don't know. Got two things. They benefited. Yeah. So the people who chose to not get it at GameStop, and like, I, I, don't, I don't necessarily have any loyalty towards GameStop, they just had the coolest, the coolest prize for pre-ordering. But yeah, they gave it away. So I think that was handled poorly, and I think that's probably what they were trying to avoid. The uh, Bloodstained guys were trying to avoid. What's the name of the company? 505 Games. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're beholden to the backers, you know, and have been. Yeah. Especially when you make stretch goals like that. This thing's hard to aim. What? Oh, the, uh, the umbrella? Take this, yeah. Is, oh, it, is, it a full, is it a full half circle to do the ability? Mm, I think it's just a quarter circle. Hmm. Could just be my D-pad. Why, Why didn't they jump? 
Yeah, maybe. Who knows? Yeah, it is just a headquarter circle. You're right. Oh, good. Dullahans. Dullahan Dull heads. Dullahan. They're just Medusas. They're just Medusas. I think the sign, the arc, is a little bit less extreme. Did you see that boor? <laughs> boor? That's what they're called. I was saying boor. Ns. Boor -ns. Hey, look where this is taking us. Aha! Uh, is there a save room? I didn't see a save room. Well... This is not a boss fight. Oh, it's not? This is an area transition. Oh, the boss fights, that's right. Sorry, I forgot which doors were what. It's been a week and a half, and I already forgot. Oh, okay, uh -huh. it's just a shortcut here. We get rewarded for it, though, with an H-pup. Just to open this gate while there's a demon dog on the other side. No problem. We've got tentacle ability. Tentacles. So to save you time... I'm using on some bats yeah. that aren't even a threat to us. Oops, <laughs> I exited the room by mistake. Yeah, to save me time. To save you the trouble of wondering where to go right now? Yeah, yeah, that's... I was hoping you would tell me when we got to that point where... Let's, let's, uh, let's go back where we were. We need to be in the underground water section right now. Okay. And it's not just you. There is no... It seems like there's no way to progress there right now because we cannot swim. Correct. Right. Well, that's why I went back, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I mean, it's nice that they give you that shortcut. Yeah, but no, it's, it wasn't a complete waste to go over there. We got a shortcut, at least. Almost like a deterrent, though, because you're like, oh, it loops back around, so I must be done with this area. And you might it's, end up... Yeah, that's kind of a game design clue, I would yeah. say. Well, but I mean, like, it could be taken in a bad way. Like, oh, it loops back around, so I must have to go somewhere else because it seems like I've completed this area because it didn't lead to a boss fight in the end. Uh, that's hard to say. Oh my god, it's hot in here. Yeah, it's getting hot already. It's like we gotta keep the air conditioner off you know, so that you can hear us while we're recording here. It's 90 degrees outside. I wonder if I could use noise canceling in, um, I don't know, like uh, Audacity has something like that, where you select a, a, a certain section of, of noise and it removes everything in the sound file with that noise, but it really make us sound really weird. And we already have really weird voices. We do? Yeah. Yeah, you speak for yourself, Ed. You ever listen to yourself? What kind of a name is Ed? <laughs> yeah, I listen to myself. Mm. I listen. I listen to. I I watch every episode of Game Suit front to back. No, no, I don't. No, I will say though, I rewatched most of the Cooking Simulator episode. That was hilarious. It was that, actually that's, that's not out yet. It's not out. We yet. actually recorded that. Uh, when did we record that? Like almost a month ago, before Bloodstain came out. Yeah. And yeah, Bloodstain came out, so pretty much everything else that we were gonna put out got put on hold. So where are we going here? Uh, we want to go back down to the where the water is. Okay. So, so, so down into the right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, actually, there's a no, pull up the map again. There's a spot on the map. Uh, where is it? Right here. Yeah. Is that maybe where we want to be? Um, I'll be, I don't I know. Go there. You should. Yeah, you should head that way. Okay. Um, Ed was pointing at this spot right here. Yeah. So. Right. I'll just describe the choke point for you right now. Yeah, do it. Let's get this over with. So the trick is, right, spoilers, if, if you don't want spoilers, you can mute this right now. Uh, so the trick is, right, you need to be able to swim to get to the next section. Yeah. However, the only way to learn how to swim at this point in the game is to defeat a fish and get the shard from it. The shard is not 100% drop. Right? right, that fish monster in the ground that we are in the ground, in the water that we keep seeing? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you have to kill oh. one of them, and you have to get the shard from it, and that lets you uh, go underwater. But if you didn't know that, or if you were expecting it to be some ability from a boss or something, you'd be stuck. Yeah, that's uh, that's a problem. It's a really big. Oh, here's the best place to farm the magic. That's a key. That's a key item. Yeah, is it's there a, a clue? No, no. It's I think it might be that actually. The the squids. I forget if it's the squid uh, or the fish. Uh, let's say, oh, we've seen this already. There, we've seen that fish or not fish. Horse. Horse fish. Yeah, before. horse fish. Alright, so maybe this is where we should be doing the grinding. I don't know. It shouldn't take too long. But it's really, it's a weird I'm going to see what else is, is here because this is a yeah. new new room. But we will go back and do the grinding when... The, why am I not hitting him? Alright, I know what will hit him. Yeah, there you go. Did, did they just do 832 damage? It sure did. Are you sure it wasn't the knight plus? No. Plus the tentacle? Alright. Uh, okay, so we're back here again. So, all right, we'll go back and do some, some grinding, I guess. I think it is the squid, actually, not the fish. But either way, they're right here. Yeah, it's really weird. 
because that is something that you would easily get stuck on. I think when I was playing on my file, the second file that I made, I think I got really lucky because it dropped like from one of these guys the first time I came through this room. Yeah. I think the chances, it's like 12%, so it's decently high. Mm. <laughs> but, you could still, that's still possible that you're not going to get it after uh, like yeah. 20, oh. 30, maybe if you're unlucky. So if you're really unlucky and you, know, you don't know to grind those things out, I don't know. Should we go back to town and see if maybe, what's her name? I forget her name. Dominique? The lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If she tells us that we can, um, maybe she gives a clue or something. I'm pretty sure she doesn't. I'm pretty sure she doesn't. And to get back to town would be a huge hassle right now. Yeah, it's true. It would be true just to check that. It would be kind of a pain and it would take us a lot of extra time. But if you know, let us know. What's going to be good for killing these fish? The blood grinder? Eh. Maybe just a straight sure. ahead chrysagrum? I think what you have now is already... Well, yeah. And underwater horses. Eh, see? Oh, we got first it. try. Awesome. So maybe... I'm pretty sure it's not 100% on the first try, but... Swim by launching water. MP is not consumed underwater. Okay. So that's what you need. But MP is not consumed underwater. Oh, I was going to try and use the tentacle attack. <laughs> Wait, I can't... Why can't I jump out of the water? I'm mashing the A button. Hmm. There's also a weird glitch with that, actually, where you can get stuck in the water like oh, that. Oh, okay. Maybe it was a glitch. I thought it might be the controller. All right. Shards. And... Is it directional? It's a, I think it's a... Con oh, no, yeah, it's it is. It is, yeah. Yeah. That's how you swim. <laughs> For now. Yeah. Actually, this ability is incredibly strong. It's unbelievable. You can... Yeah. Th those little bursts of water will pretty much destroy anything underwater. Also, you can't pick up chests. <laughs> oh, so we have to drain this, I'm guessing? <laughs> or maybe get some weight on us so that we can walk in the water? We will see. Yeah. So, yeah, you have to get a random drop from an enemy to continue. And if it is 100% drop from the enemy, then... Remember when we killed one of these early in the LP and it took like two minutes straight? No, why? We did. We killed one of those fish early on in the oh. game. Oh. Why did it take two minutes? Because we were really low level. Uh, well, those look safe enough. Oh, this room, dude. Ouch. You know there's always a this room in a game? Yeah. This is, that's, Ouch. This is the this room of the game. I'm gonna use all our potions. Oh great, I used all our potions. I blame you. Yep. Fried fish. We do have fried fish though. So yeah, I don't know how I feel about the. Oh, come on. <laughs> the random drop from the. F yeah, these things wreck you. Wreck you. I know how you feel about it. Yeah, Not well, good. Yeah. Game does get pretty challenging. However, there's a save point soon. Yeah, that'd be nice. I think we'll get there. Wait, can I go through? I can probably get through here. I could probably switch and then get through there quickly, but there's no real reason because we can't open chests, right? Right, now. right. So we are definitely going, going to be coming through wow. here again. You got it right in... Okay. I was going to say you got through there right on the first try because this is where you need to go. Well, good. Water sections, never anybody's favorite. No, nobody's favorite. Nobody likes them. And so yet, uh, what should our water section be like in our upcoming title? Oh, we're in the Hidden Desert, finally. Finally? What do you mean, finally? Did you know this was here? Yeah, they talked about Hidden Desert earlier in the game. Oh, okay. That we had to find the Hidden Desert. Yeah, this section is... Uh, this is not a joke. There's got to be a desert section in every Castlevania game. There's got to be a desert. Maybe a forest. Definitely an underwater section. Usually a garden, actually. Actually, there's not usually a desert section. There was in Portrait of Ruin. Yeah. Oh, slow. And I think Ecclesia, too. Maybe not. I can't remember. You are poisoned. You should... Oh, yeah. Heal. I hope we don't die here. I don't think we will. Mithridate. We'll use that. And we'll eat some fried fish. Oh, I guess... We don't have a lot of food, huh? Oh, I think we just got our first time bonus from that. Oh, good. Um, yeah, we don't have a lot of heals here. I can't use the fairy medicine. No. Only a fairy can use it. Oh, Man, we really screwed ourselves. Yeah, okay. This is bad. Just play it, play it safe. You can do this. I actually have to play well now instead of 
running through everyone. Uh, let's see if this is a save room. How's that sound? Fuck. It's not a save room. Yeah, this is the game that I play. When you're low on health and you need to find the save room, you like duck into every room once. It's almost never the right one. Well, we don't need Aqua Stream in the desert. You know what you do need? Heretical Grinder. Heretical Grinder is pretty good. I I'm still a pretty big fan of Bone Toss. All right. You can do what you want, it's man. It's got some range on it in, in this current situation. Whoa! Yep. Okay. And it goes through walls, too. And it goes through walls. Yeah. Vulsha. Yeah, we don't want to find out what she does. Oh, there. Oh, we just found out. Ah. Ha! Ha! <laughs> oh, this is bad. Yeah. You might want to bone out, actually. I mean, waste stone out. Waste stone out. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking that, actually. Let's check the map. Is there anything here that looks like it could be the save point? If we bail out, we're going to have to... There's no warp. Do you realize how far we are from a warp point? Yeah. I think we got to do it. I think we got to restock. We can just pause the video and get back here. Cause I don't think I don't think we're gonna make it, man. Look at that thing. He's trying to kill you. I shouldn't have been so careless. <laughs> well maybe we'll push our luck. I don't be it. I don't remember where the save point. <sighs> nope. Oh yeah. They respawn! They did. Oh cool. If we find an H pup, that would refill our health, but I don't know. I don't remember where the save point is. His? It just is it just quicksand? Yeah, yeah, Nothing yeah. Nothing really special about it? No, I don't think so. Okay. Other oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah! Not good. Okay, Not bone good. out, bone out. <laughs> uh, no, never. Okay. <laughs> okay. Should I bone out? You should bone out, because we're I gonna should probably because we're gonna lose our level up progress. And the items we found. Oh yeah, and we just found the water yeah. shard. Yeah, it's, it's gonna cool. set us back a lot if we die. We'll get back here quickly. All right. All right. I feel I feel like that was a failure. No, no, it just happens. All right. Why don't we uh, stop it here? We'll restock and heal up, and we'll get back to where we were, huh? Mm -hmm. I don't I don't know where the save point is, but if I had to guess, it's Maybe probably it's here right? to the right. Yeah. I hope it's not the very next room. We crafted a couple of new foods and ate them. One was steak and one was pork cutlet. Yeah, you remembered. I did. Alright, um, underwater, aqua stream. Not gonna cut it here. We need release toad. <laughs> You're kidding. You weren't? <laughs> it's, it's worse than I remembered. Oh man. Alright. We're gonna use heretical grinder. Does that sound good to you, that Ed? It does, yeah. This bone dragon does not fool around, wow. so. I wonder if you die in the under the quicksand here. Would you like an answer? Yeah. You do not. In oh. fact, if you look in the mini-map, there's a door under there. Oh. Yeah. Well, maybe we should check that out. But there's a bone dragon over there. Well, this really doesn't cost a lot of mana to use. Oh. Well, we found the no. teleporter, which mm -hmm. is almost as good as a save point. Because it teleports you to a place where there's a save point and a teleporter. <laughs> And the save point's usually close to the teleport anyway, so I wonder if this next room is one. So yeah. Bloodstained. Pretty good game. Pretty good. Oh, I forgot we were doing an LP. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. Should, yeah. We should talk about something. Sorry, yeah, I, I, I also sort of zoned out. Amy. That guy's name is Amy. Amy? That these, oh, yeah, uh, it is. these ghosts. Yeah, you know. It's named after a backer. Amy. You think? Nah. Probably not, no. Design an enemy and get it named after you. If you were the one design that got to design an enemy, would you design this? A ghost? Yeah. A palette swap of an existing enemy? Yeah. Nah. The thing is, the thing is, if you only got to design one enemy for a game and you were an amateur, mm -hmm. what you would probably do is try to make the enemy do as many things as possible <laughs> and be like a really complex yeah. enemy, like almost a boss yeah. kind of an enemy, and you would have it have all these weird design elements to it. They would probably tell like you combinations of yeah. odd design elements. And yeah. I imagine when that's happened, they're like, all right, we're going to give you 
uh, a template for this enemy. It is a bird type, and it does these attacks. And now you tell us what kind, what you want it to look like. Like I don't think a backer would get any more choice than that. They certainly shouldn't. You know, if all you're designing is the like, for example, in Path of Exile, uh, people can, I don't know if you can still do it, but you used to be able to pay I think a thousand dollars to uh, design a divination card. And those work by, you know, the random drop, and if you collect the set, the full set of whatever one divination card is, then it gives you that item that's listed on it. Yeah. But if you're designing it, I I know you have to at least go through them, and they get the final say whether it's broken or... Right, of course, you know, yeah, you don't, get and, to, you don't get to choose the stats. Right, you also don't, like, choose where it drops or the drop rate or anything like that. Doubles you, your damage, yeah. doubles your defense, doubles your... Um, Doubles the amount of money, real world fiat currency that you get. There's a chest right there. Out of the game. Oh yeah, there is. It's under the ground here. Oh, there it is. Crystal. But at the very least, you get to design the the art of the card and and the uh, flavor text. Oh, this is the ah, yeah. This is this is the the doorway under the quicksand that we found earlier. And we just went in a loop. All right, let's see where we are here. Looks like we can go to the right and continue going down. Is that correct? Uh-huh. Leave it in the comments. I don't know. I'm starting to see a lot of pallet swaps now. Fire viewer. Yeah, pretty much to be expected, though, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's not really a knock against this kind of game. These games are pretty big, and they have a lot of enemies in them. Yeah, I wonder. I haven't taken a look at the stretch rewards. I'm not sure exactly what uh, what people could have paid for to to get into the game. Like, obviously, the, the backer portraits, Oops. you know. I didn't mean to fall down here. <laughs> that was an error. Our little knight buddy has gotten really strong. Yeah. He's, He's really incentivized to use only one of these familiars. Level 27. Yeah, like all the other ones, they're all crap. Familiar Bloodbringer. Should we, should we summon Bloodbringer or Carbos? He's, we'll summon yeah. we'll summon Carbos. Maybe just we'll to, use just potions. to break it up a little bit. Yeah. We've been using that knight probably for uh, the last eight to twelve episodes. What? Eight to twelve? Yeah, we're I think only so. episode uh, nine. Yeah, I know that was a joke. <laughs> well, supposedly she has these Carabos potions. Yeah, but I would like her to use them. You know what I mean? It would be nice of her. Like, what is the condition? Do you have to be at low health, at critical health? Probably. Oh, we're out of mana. Ah. I feel like we were running out of mana a lot early on in the game, and now we're not running out as... as it's taking a lot longer for us to run out, it feels like. Yeah. At least. I feel like I'm able to use these abilities for a lot longer than before. Also, uh, another side to that is that some of the foods that we've eaten uh, increase our MP charge rate when we're not in combat. It's like, if you look at it, it used to be one per second, right? One mana per second at the beginning of the game. Yeah. Now it's like three or four, maybe. It, mm. it says it somewhere. Did we have this before? No. I don't think so. It didn't show up as new. It didn't look like it, at least. Oh. That could be good. I mean, yeah, it could be good. It feels it feels kind of underwhelming for this late into the game. Yeah. A Joyous or a Misericord. You can unleash a trio of slashes in a single breath. I don't know what kind of weapons those are. They sound like swords. Oh, I have no mana. Oh, cost a lot, I guess. Oh, you know what? I wonder if the MP quick charge is even during combat. Um, yeah, because it's recharging now. No, it's definitely recharging a lot faster than it was earlier. Oh, I think the left room is, looks like a save point. I feel like that's going to be a save point, because we haven't seen one in a long time in this area. It's got to be, yep. You were right, Ed. Yeah, this comfy couch right in the middle of this hidden desert. Your design sense is impeccable, Ed. Mm. Ed. What kind of name is Joe? A really common one? Yeah, but so is Ed. My name is most common, I think, in the 1900s. I actually looked this up once. You can, you can look at your own name, in fact. If you look at name popularity through the ages. Whoa. Yeah. You got one of these loop-de-loop -loop areas. Always fun. This is a really tight spiral here, though. Maybe we can jump back down to where we just were. That's pretty neat. Wait, is that it? 
that's it. Really? That's yeah. the whole room? <laughs> what a neat room. Yeah, right? Like, this is a room. Look at the background. It's gigantic. This is a gigantic room. And it's just that little rectangle on the map. Let me go in here. There you go. That was the room. I wonder if this game can really actually exist in space. All oh, right. I wonder. We need a talisman or something to get through there. A rune. This uh, is a boss, a boss. room. Uh, we just saved, right? Did we? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we just found that save room. The only thing we did was this room, this, that, oh, the yeah. big room, the big cool room. So, I don't mind redoing that room if we have to. Alright, let's equip. Maybe not Crusagrum? I don't know. Nah, it's really weak. It's really uh, weak. What about a gun? <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna do gun, I'm gonna do these debuff rounds, then the then the powerful rounds, and right. see if they do damage. If they don't do that much damage, I'm gonna swap. We don't even know what the boss is though. So yeah. we'll see. And we should probably equip our best. Nope, oh, sorry, Carabos. We're going back to Silver Knight. Reduce MP consumption, sure. Heretical grinder, probably gonna be fine. Uh, oh yeah, I keep, oh yeah, I keep forgetting to use craft work. That's a great one. Throw spear or tentacle. I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with oh, we'll stick with throw spear for here. We'll see we'll see if it's. Oh, come to see me, have you? Oh, Miriam, what are you doing here? to ask you the same. I commanded you to leave this place. I cannot. I gave Jeebo my word. And I intend to keep it. Jeebo? Uh, very well. The sigil was not meant for you. But we are far enough from the castle that it can contain you here. Goodbye, Miriam. Alright. What the hell? He <laughs> instantly poisons me in the back of the head. Surprise. So yeah, guns might be a problem on this level. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're totally right about that. So, I was gonna say that was a, that's a good design decision for them to put a room like that was exactly this room. Yeah. Basically, just a copy of this room earlier, so that you kind of understand how it works before you have to fight a boss in this arena. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah, right? this is gonna actually be a problem, but I want to poison him. I want to poison him. There you go. And then we will equip something else because you were uh, you're right. Something good. Yeah. What's good? Partisan. I used to partisan a lot in my playthrough. Oh really? Hmm. But it's kind of weak. Maybe just a sword? Sure. I think we have a quarter circle forward ability for it, do we? Maybe not. I think you have a double tap forward X skill. Yeah, it's a. Oh yeah, it's, it's like a, a parry or a yeah, blocker. It's a parry. I died. We died. Oh, we got <laughs> I was messing around with. Yeah, we yeah, got cursed, yeah, and yeah. then I was messing around with that ability. Okay. So we didn't learn anything. <laughs> we learned nothing of this boss. Well, except for that that cheap shot of poison at the beginning of the fight, right? We learned right? about that. Yeah, we learned that. Okay, so <laughs> we will we will absolutely dodge that. Crusader might be good for this boss. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, it's just a solid overall weapon. I keep calling it Crusader. Wait. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna yeah. go straight to the boss. <laughs> we'll do the side room if we. Uh... Oh no! Damn it! Soft locked. This is still a bug. Oh, we just saved. Game's been out for a month. Yep. Good job. Good thing we just saved. We're not even going to stop recording. We're not even going to stop. In fact, I'm going to take this opportunity to tell you all about can carbonated water. Today's episode of Game Soup is sponsored by Wegmans Black oh, Cherry Vanilla. you haven't even tried it yet. No, I haven't even opened it. Sponsored by Black Cherry Vanilla Flavor. Oh, it's everywhere. <laughs> A little bit. A little bit everywhere. A little bit everywhere. There we go. We're back. All right. Not even going to, not even going to edit. I'm just going to leave that right in there. You know, we got 13 DLCs on the way. But they still haven't patched out the soft lock bug. I mean, to be fair, they got to do this for consoles and PC. Like, there's a lot of platforms to patch this game on. Yeah, sounds kind of like a nightmare. Yeah. But, I mean, that's game development. It's basically just a nightmare. I don't know why anybody signs up for it, but we do it. <laughs> no, I know, why, I know why we sign up for it. Oh, we didn't it. know better. I know why we sign up for it. There's a lot of negatives to it, but you know what? There's negatives to everything, though. There absolutely are. And to be able to be uh, in any kind of a creative field, I think that's where you, you want to be, especially if you're a creative that is... kind of guy. Yeah, that's really close. Yeah. I managed to dodge it. Okay, let's actually try to beat this guy. Oh, you know, we should probably equip. All right, next time, if we die again, I'm going to equip, then resave. All right. 
But I think we got everything. Uh, yeah, we have everything equipped that we want to. I think only the Silver Knight is what we don't want. How come he can throw around turns, but my <laughs> gun doesn't go around turns? Yeah. What an asshole. Son of a bitch. Oh, that curses you. What? Yeah, can we uncurse? Do I think, an you, item that I think you can. Yeah. Let's see. Maybe not? Maybe not. Well, we don't have any uncurse if yeah. there is one. Uh, maybe I'm wrong then. I don't know. Yeah. I guess we don't. Okay. So we just have to be careful. It runs out after a while, it though. It does. A oh, fucking shit! You can get a slide out of yeah. the way of that one. You gotta be, you gotta move really. Yeah, you gotta move really fast. It's that's definitely something you gotta slide to get away from. So we did restock on potions, but I don't know if this is gonna be enough. Do potions just heal a percentage of your health? I don't I think so. Hmm. I think it's. A oh, he doesn't hurt you when he touches you. That's kind of oh. nice. Did he just drink a potion? He looks like he's enchanted by something. He does. He's enchanted by your good looks. Oh, come oh, on! <laughs> like, that was, how are you supposed to dodge that? I guess you're just not supposed to go that far away from it. I have an idea. Oh, this isn't working. It's, well, yeah. <laughs> that, that's working, of all things. It is working. Okay, we're not going to do that same mistake again. Okay, here it comes. Dodge. Oh, man. Dodge. Fucking shit, uh, I dodged too early. Okay, okay. Oh, I was trying to... Oh, we're still moving. I was trying to pause to use a healing item, but I did not do it in time. What were the lessons of this battle? To Are you uh, fucking serious? I wonder... Let's just back out and see if it works. I don't think it's going to work. No. It's... Yeah. We must have some kind of... We must have the trigger. I just... I think I just learned something about that. It seems to have only happened after we got a game over those last two times. Right? So yeah. Like maybe... It might have been happening only when we got game overs before. I don't know. It happened a lot, though. I can't remember if we got game overs all, all those times. I don't Maybe know. only in the save room? Does it has it only happened in save rooms? I don't, I don't remember. I don't think so. All I remember was Headless Miriam. Yeah. All right, here's what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. I'm going to leave the room. And then I'm going to quit. Maybe we just have to leave the save room. And then we'll pause. Seems like we're all right now. Um, so the shard is... We want Silver Knight. Reticle Grinder. I guess Reticle Grinder. I should probably be using her Reticle Grinder. And Craftwork. I mean, I am being a little... Uh, I could be increasing our DPS significantly by mashing all of those buttons instead of just the one. And all right, yeah, we'll just have all that equipped. And we will save. Hey, well, you're still learning the fight, though, so you can't really go full hand until you know it. This is going to be the one. I can feel it. Alright, we got to move immediately. Fucking shit! I fucking hit the button. I fucking hit the button. I hit the jump button, and then it jumped after. Yeah. That's weird. That seems really hard to avoid. It's kind of a dick move, isn't it? Am I poisoned? I think I know we're poisoned. Okay. That's kind of hard to God, judge. It's really hard to... Yeah. Right? There we go. Nope. Jeez. Nope. There's got to be a... too late that time, I think. It was too early the first time uh, and too late the second time. High potion. There's a regular potion. Another regular potion. Oh. Looked like we were out of it, but then it spread a little bit. Yeah, ah, Get grinded, good sir. Oh. I died again. I think you were standing on ice. And for some reason, that kills you. It is a tough fight. It's really hot in here. It is. Do you want to go off camera for a while? Put the AC back on and... Let's do a couple more. We'll All do right. a couple more tries on this guy. These episodes are getting long. Oh, you know what we should do? What's that? We should put on the, the the elevator. Look at this elevator. If you like move around on the elevator, what it the acts weird. Look at that. It does. Yeah, that's really weird. 
You can like move while you're on the elevator, and it <clears throat> it like makes it stop and go really fast and stop and then go. Yeah, it's it feels really weird to control. I don't know if you can you can probably see it that it's behaving in an odd way if you're watching this. But yeah, it feels very weird to control if you just keep on mashing the D-pad while you're riding that stupid elevator. Anyway, let's see if we can fucking dodge it this time. We have to do it. We have to keep pressing the start button to skip the cutscene. It's, yeah. it's more of a, it's, a, a test of pressing that start button. You know what's really dumb about that is that a lot, a lot of the cutscenes are sectioned. So like if you hit start yeah, that first yeah, time. Yeah, you gotta hit it two times. Yeah. Oh, come on! I just unpoisoned myself! <laughs> Jackass. Uh-oh. Yeah, DPS! God, there's a lot deeps. of hit points. Yeah. Things start getting really tanky. Obviously. Fuck. Oh, whoa! He just missed there. <laughs> that was just a miss. It looked like it didn't even go onto the ground. Like it wasn't even. Is that a grenade? That's one of those grenades. Okay. Nice. Stop running away, you nerd! Oh, he's enchanted. He's enchanted with your personality and good looks. My good looks or Miriam's good looks? Um, well, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Take that however you want it. What is this? Okay, of course. Yes, yeah, so much DPS. Oh, it just slows you. I don't care. That's, I don't care about being stoned. Yeah, doesn't matter. You're going to wreck him. You're going to grind on him. You're going to grind on him like it's a night in the club. Yeah, that's what I was... Oh, or I'm using poison. <laughs> I shouldn't be using poison. I should be using mithridate. What are what are all these blue things doing? They're just slowing me they down when I enter you. the field. Yeah. yeah. Ah. Come back here. Oh, Alfred. Yes. Look at that damage. Yes. That's exciting. It feels so good when they just they let you get all those hits in. Plus, I think Critical Grinder does a really good job of like briefly stunning. Oh, uh -oh briefly please. stunning enemies. It might just be every weapon, but I think it just attacks so quickly that. Like, if enemies are walking towards you, they kind of... It takes a lot longer for them to get to you, I've noticed. Let me know if I have low health. Yeah. I, I kind of... You always have low health yeah. when you curse, but let me know if I have excessively low health. Uh, yeah, I'll keep an eye on it. I guess this thing just stays here. Where the fuck here. is he? Oh, nice. Like, okay. You did, cool. yeah. Yeah, that was just about the DPS. I was just going to turn the volume up a little bit. Oh, yeah. I can do the that. the cutscenes are really uh, quiet. Oh, you know what? I might have fooled around with the settings. The uh, volume settings. You can change this back if you want to. Uh, yeah. I mean, we can do it for the next episode. Is this the end of this episode? How long have we been going? Nobody knows. I have no idea. Nope. We're trying to make these, like, double episodes. Like, 90 minutes. If you haven't noticed. But I don't know. It's because all the sound effects and voices are half half volume from music, so you can turn those up probably. Yeah. Yeah. Let's turn the voices all the way up and everything else up to nine. Yeah. I don't want it to be a, a ten. I think a nine is good enough. Nine is appropriate. Oh yeah, that's louder now. I just wanted to hear I think I was when I was playing, I really wanted to hear the music. Oh, oh don't see. go here, don't go here. You need to save. <laughs> go back to the save point. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we should probably go to the save point. But, I mean, we'll probably, we'd probably survive. You'd probably survive, but... Uh, Wait, wasn't that the door that was sealed by magic? Yeah, just now. He said something about that. He said the talisman oh, okay. was for Jeebel. Yeah, yeah, But because we made it this far. Which, I don't know, so I you guess... You just have to beat that boss to yeah. get through there. So it's, instead of... Well, yeah, I guess because the arena is a loop-de-loop. -loop, and maybe that's just the way they figured out how to... How to make an exit to the side out of the loop-de-loop. -loop, is just to make him control a key door, basically. A key door. Key door. To control a locked door that you can go through. But, oh yeah, we want to go in the first one though here. What was in here? I don't know. Oh, it might have just chest. been a design decision that they made up a story element for. Get, okay. Get leaped on. I meant to do that. I like getting leaped on. Water leper.
Wait, what? Oh, it's another room like this. Wait, this was the this was the room that he locked. Yeah. Oh, okay. It gives us a shard. Yeah, which I'm sure is an important one. It's yes. clear. Mm. Mm hmm. And there you have it. That's the one we need. All right, let's get that. Let's get the H out of here. So now we're past choke point number two. The very silly underwater there any more? choke point. Yes. There is one There's more. One more. It's the biggest one, actually. I'm sure that you will point it out. To thou. To thou. Thou being the viewers of Game Soup. Thank you a lot for watching. Thanks for sticking with us through this series. Oh yeah, should we call this episode? I don't know how long it's been. Yeah, I have no idea. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit though. I hope it doesn't uh, mess you up. Oh, that's a new shard. What is it? Let's Tell us. Stab ourselves. Kiss rife. Unleash holy rays. That okay. sounds really powerful. I'm about to get hit. Ah. All right. Directional holy rays. Wait, that's not what it was. Fire a beam in the designated. It slows enemy movement. Um, it must be a conjure. There you go. There it is. Kiss rife. Increases. It. Okay. We'll see what it does. Yep. I have a feeling that would happen. Oi, bruv. Wait, that's not the right accent. Oi, bruv. Tis rife. No, that's not even the right accent. Never mind. Forget it. Forget I said it. Are they heat seeking or do they always go in that? I think they always go they, in the same pattern. Yeah. That's hmm. not that. That's pretty bad, right? That's. The power is good, but the attack pattern is bad. It feels like like a bad Mega Man weapon. Yeah. You know when you when you beat a Mega Man boss for the first time in a Mega Man game and you're excited to see what the weapon does and yeah. eh, about 80% of the time you're really disappointed. <laughs> You'd just rather use the buster. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of what this feels like. It's powerful, but the attack pattern just is not conducive to a human brain having fun. Look at that. Yeah. Just makes an X. You want to attack with an X? You ever wanted to use an ability that is just a, a, a X? A X? And, and stutter while saying it? That's what this ability does. Yeah, makes you stutter. X? Makes you say X. A X? It uses a lot of MP. I'm fucking out of MP because the reason why it uses so much MP is because you keep fucking missing. And it's a X. It's a X, yeah. It's one of Kanye's favorite dance moves. A X? Yeah, he does like an X. Ah, like you know how you, you can make an X with your body and you put your hands in the air and your legs spread apart? Uh, yeah, it's a make cl like an X. Classic, right? Yeah. Classic move, the X. Yeah. Good old uh, X. Yeah. I'm a fan. Oh, yeah? Of the X and uh, of Kanye, obviously. I like it. But who isn't? I don't know. Not me. I, I've never heard of him. You've never heard of him? And I, I don't like music. I don't plan to like it. So there. Ooh, this guy's got some HP on him. He's just bones. I want to kill him. Where does he get off? The train station. Ah. Market Street. There you go. Hey, you just completed a quest by killing four of those. He has an apartment on Market Street, actually. It's pretty expensive. How, how does he afford that? Yeah, I don't know. Was there a teleporter in the underwater section? I don't think there was, right? There's a teleporter right here. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Like, to get back to where we... It's gotta be underwater. one closer. I think there's one closer, yeah. actually. I'm pretty sure. All right. Let's see. Oh, there's that one. Yeah, I guess that's this it. This one, I think. Well, no, there's one bottom down to the left, right, this? right there. That's the water section? That ain't the water it's section. It's the same area. Yeah, it's the, the underground waterway. Yeah. This is not the under... Oh, it's part of the same zone. underground waterway. Oh, I guess it's part of the same zone. It's just like the other side or something? I think it connects. Oh, uh, yeah, it probably goes... Yeah, it and probably it goes connects. underneath. Yep. If I had to guess. That's a pretty good guesser. I'm pretty good at guessing. Because I, I don't know how to do anything else. Hey, Wait, do we have it equipped? Mm -hmm. yeah, it's a, it's a one of those auto equip skills. Oh, you just always have it equipped. Yeah. Okay, I just stood there. Get horsed on, Glaston. His name is Glaston. Glaston. It rhymes with Bastion, which I apologize. Well, I probably did it by now, but. I haven't been doing the giveaways. I've been kind of just slacking. We have the giveaways. We announced them, but it's been like a week ah. since uh, the episodes went out. We gave away a copy of Bastion and we gave away a copy of, I don't know, something else. And I just have been slacking and I just didn't pick the winners yet. No, no, no these things take time. They're There's still little... getting entries though. Oh. They still get entries. Wow. They can be up, up for a week. Sometimes they still get, they still get entries. So if you see the giveaway in the description below, it is open. 
I always delete the uh, the oh. links to the and I put giveaway is over. I always delete the links when the giveaways do end. So if you ever see the giveaway link, it's open. It's not Joe's fault. There's a whole bureaucracy thing. To yeah, there's a whole no, there's not. Like it's it, lying. It's it, lying. It goes You're through lying. three different departments. You're a liar. It goes through the the contest department, the tax department, and the giveaways department. Oh boy. Like well, you really run slow under the water. Oh, I have the wrong. Oh, fuck! I wish I had that. I I thought I had a reticle grinder equipped, but I just equipped the laser. That was your mistake. You lasered and didn't grinder. Grinder. Look how slow we. Why are we moving so damn slowly? Yeah. Are we slowed? Are we no, slowed? We're not slowed. This is just how how you move underwater. Does anyone like underwater sections in games? Do you actually like underwater sections in games? Leave no. that in the comments. No, nobody does. No. Actually, I like Subnautica. It's a but, whole game built around underwater yeah, sections. But it's more built around the atmosphere in the underwater sections. One of these lets you run faster. Might be, maybe it's this one. No. <laughs> That'd be nice. Yeah, there is Resist one. Slash. Increases your resistance to slashing attacks. Mm -hmm. That's your passive? That's what you want to equip? Great. Maybe, maybe if you're min-maxing for like a certain boss or something. Wait, he's just guarding? Oh, yeah. Oh, because he's a clam. <laughs> That's what clams do, man. There is a shard somewhere. I don't know where it is. You know what I should probably be What's that? doing? Grinding? Just Heretically? I should probably just be using Aqua Stream. Oh. Because, wait. We wait. can't Aqua Stream anymore? You can turn off the, the other one. Turn off the sinking oh, yeah, ability. You can turn it off. There you go. To the right. Deep sinker. Get clammed. <laughs> Get clammed. <laughs> You know one of Aquaman's abilities was hard water balls. <laughs> what? Yeah. In the old days, on the old Aquaman cartoon, probably nobody remembers this. There was an old Aquaman cartoon. He used to do hard water Ooh, balls. Check that out. Thunderer's and, Ring. And he would throw them at undersea enemies, and the hard water balls would hurt the undersea enemies. Let's talk about the Black Manta. <laughs> the Black Manta was in um, was in that Aquaman the movie. Oh, that was a great movie. That was one of the better superhero movies in recent times. I didn't see it. I'm kind of sick of superhero movies, to be honest. But the Aquaman one, I, I love the colors. Had fun action. I mean, yeah, it's a it's a superhero movie. You're not really going going to it for a incredible story. But it was pretty good. All right, so we want to use the um, reflect the rain to get through here. And we're. Gonna see another area? A brand new area. The secret sorcery lab. Wait, what? That's Dominique. And Alfred? What could they be up to? This was your proposal, Exorcist. Explain yourself. I should have been there. But you broke your word as well when you laid that trap for me. I wasn't about to allow the book to fall into your hands. <laughs> Why would I want it? Revenge, perhaps? For your parents. Someone has been putting ideas in your head. Uh, Miriam! Huh? No, wait! Oh. I would have preferred you not see that. So the trap Alfred laid was for you? Yes, and that's why I sent Zangetsu to deal with it. He has the power to stop Alfred from teleporting. I thought he might be able to contain Alfred while we dealt with our bigger problems here. It makes sense. But what was all that about your parents? Revenge? <sighs> I don't want you to get the wrong idea. So I suppose I had better tell you. My parents were exorcists, like me. But during the demon outpouring ten years ago, they were killed in battle. So I have my reasons for hating demons and that accursed book. I'm so sorry. You must hate us all for it. I let go of the hatred years ago. All that matters now is that I gain control of the Liber Logaith and prevent it from ever being used for evil again. All right. I'll help you. 
Thank you. I'll do all I can for you in return. All right, then. All right, so we're going to check out the Secret Sorcery Lab on the next episode of Game Soup. In the meantime, subscribe to the channel. Ha, 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 ha.